Hello and welcome to another Let's Play Factorio. My name's Negative Root Down. Let's get cracking. I just noticed that I misread the clock in the last one. Sorry about that. I cut the episode about too short by half. So <laughs> that wasn't intentional. My bad. Two, three, four. Right. That's going to be that. Because we have oil right in your. This will uh, work nice. So what we're going to do is utilise these these bad boys. Okay, we can possibly place some sort of perimeter around so that we've got defence. Because the old pump jacks are pretty heavy on the old pollution. Yeah, that's okay. That's nothing that worries me. Okay. I'm going to fill crude oil barrels, which means we're going to need a requester and a passive provider. And this is going to request in empty barrels by 200. That 100 should be fine, actually. Okay. In, out, done. Okay, where's my pump jacks? Oh, I've got three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. That'll be nice. Okay, that's good. Storage tank. Ooh. Anywhere handy I can get more plates from? That'd be really good. I should be getting a delivery shortly of all that kind of stuff. I wonder. Nope. Ah, here we go. Stuff. So I, wa I want one. Yeah, one storage tank I think would be good. Because that way I can. Well, I can. You know, have a little bit of buffer storage, so that if this is overproducing, I'll have a little bit left over, and that'll be good. Okay. How to hook this thing up? Yeah, I like that. Looks good. Okay, and that's fine. We go from here to say here, and here to say here. And now we'll just plug all this in. So all that'll work that there. And now we'll just go part the ground like that. So that's everything hooked up very nicely. Is there a. There's not a good place to put it. Of course there isn't. It's a piece of shit, that's why. Get over here. Oh, this is why. My God, I really hate this game sometimes. Wait. Yep. Okay. That's all good. Okay. That's good. Now that's all running. And now that's going to plug into my existing system. There's full, full oil barrels will go down to my um, unboxing facility and unbox themselves. It would be very, very nice. What's happening here? Something's happened. That would be why that didn't work. <laughs> it's the little things that affect those those builds. I tell you what. Anyway, yeah. So here's that logistics robot. We'll see if we're just chasing down. There we go. So that is 
where everything is being unboxed just here so it's just adding splurts of 25 crude oil which is helping you can see that it's just bumping it up where it can just enough oh this is waiting for light oil that's not good that's really really bad actually do I get speed modules <laughs> that is the question Just interesting, very interesting. 9.6k, no worries, that's a lot of batteries. Let's just check on our progress. Hasn't really gone very far. Mmm. Sorry about that. Sneezy, very, very sneezy. Now, considerably faster, that's for sure. between them they're using a megawatt of power <laughs> oh, dearie. Well, they're twice as fast so that's that's quite good sulfuric acid is now recovering petroleum gas is steady no decreasing steady hmm tough this is going flat out now which means we will eventually get enough to fill up the sulfuric acid which will tip over production into other things god damn it that is not good uh... are we okay? 25 tons for engagement air no we're okay good now something i just want to have a look at is i want to have a look at the Okay, this just needs to be that. That's all we need for buffer storage there. Okay, we'll leave that is as is. We'll return what we had taken. There we go. That means yeah, these are going to get picked up. So that's probably best that we put them in there. Heavy, heavy duty. Heavy du duty requirements for resources now. It's gone beyond we're just playing to fuck off, we're serious now. Absolutely incredible. Okay. I think plastic will be the thing that we're waiting for the most. 36 tons. Yeah, okay, we seem to be alright. Oh, we see green circuits starting to back up. Very nice. We eventually want to see... Yeah, 4,000. Wonderful. What we want to start to see is the red circuits back up. But to do that, we're going to have to get more... more petroleum gas, basically. We need more gas. So what we'll do is we'll come down here, because that's a lake. And we're going to set up an entirely new processing facility down here. Because I just need to bite the bullet here. 
just need to bite the bullet and do it. So we're going to expand into this area. What have we got? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Blueprints. Laser turrets. Okay. Just wanted to check how far that would reach there. It will reach to the perimeter, so that's good. There and then here. Get them to deconstruct this wall because it's no longer required. And also all the laser turrets. Lasers. No more lasers. It's fine. <laughs> Look at him go. I love robots. Boom, ball's gone. Okie dokie. Actually, what we might even do is grab an old robo turret. Uh, not a robo turret, but a robo port. And just stretch things down here. Because that would be really handy if we just had a little bit more space. I just want to. Right there. That'd be perfect. What I'll do is I'll deconstruct this and then push the boundary out further again. And I'll use all this space in here to create my processing. Not my processing, but my oil. Done. Done. My job done. Uh, let's just grab a big power cable. Run a light. That's good. Now what we'll do is just deconstruct this because that's no longer going to be needed. We need to place it out even further. So here we are. Come to here. This will be good. This is this is what we're talking about when we say I need some space to work. can actually do is just hook it up and throw it in. There we go. Done. So this is going to be oil. We're going to have plenty of oil now. If we don't, I'm going to be really, really grumpy. We'll just uh, deconstruct some of these laser turrets on the interior now that we no longer require. Okay, done. Done. And the last one here. Oh. Okay, okay. That's fine. Martio. Now then, what I'm actually going to do is just place down a quick couple of factories. To build things for me because I'm going to need them. Now we'll do this here. Well, this probably isn't strictly needed, but I'm going to do it anyway because it's just going to help the build. And this will be the last thing I do in this episode. And then, after a bit of an intermission when I've you know, left this for a little while, I'll come back and, and we'll start on this uh, big tanky oil build. We've got four turrets engaged with the enemy. Oh, we're okay. Let's have a look at our map. Yeah, we're doing alright, I think. Probably need to go kill some more biters shortly. Make sure that we've got it, uh, got enough alien artifacts, uh, which we don't, actually, incidentally, now that we're here and we're looking. Okay, okay. So this is going to make. Where is it? Hmm, that can't be made in this. So, pipe, steel, gear wheels, circuits. Whoops. Pipe. Mm 
gear wheels here steel circuits 10 of each actually probably need 20 of each There we go. Now then. Why can I still not make that? That's a pain in the ass. Like you would not believe pain in the bum. Anyway. Oh dear. So, chemical plant. Right, let's uh, put a green inserter on it and just restrict the chemical plants to be work when there's less than, say, 10. Yeah, 10 will work. Right, that's going to go. Good. Uh, we need. Screw it. We'll do the storage tanks here. This will bump to 40. 50. 50 will do nice. Uh, iron plate by 40. That'll be good. And again, what we'll do is we'll restrict it on the output. Don't work unless there's less than five. We shouldn't need as many as of them. Right, that's good. Done. Now what else are we going to need for the oil network? I think that's pretty much it, really. That and... Or, like, refineries. But, you know, it is what it is. Ah, uh, alright. Oh, we've actually got, still got a couple of minutes left. Let's go visit down here and see what's cracking. What's cracking, lacking? I'm not really scared of much at the moment, as you can well tell. I'm pretty, uh. Oh, well, you see, a nice big biter base down here is formed. Hello. Oh, see, oh. Well, let's uh, get some follower robots out. So 14 my max. We'll get our shotgun up and our poison caps. And now we'll go have, uh, have a little bit of fun. Fun with the natives. This will sort them out. This will really upset them. Got 11 so far. Lots of big, big worms out there. And they still do cause me a bit of grief because I can't get in close and uh, deal with them. So I'll just have to, you know, kill from afar basically. Oh, and I have no, no destroyers left. That's uh, potentially problematic. Right, what I really need to do is actually throw some stuff in here so I have access to it if I need it audio let's go again so where is it here we go right done I think that took care of it well, nothing's shooting at me anymore, so it seems to have. So that's good. Done. How many I pick up? Twelve. Oh man, so many required. I think that might do it for. Oh, let's go just kill this one quickly. Famous last words quickly. That's okay. That's possibly a bit erroneous. Because it's like two objects were destroyed, but you just don't have the capacity for them to follow you, so they go in as destroyed, which I don't think is right, but anyway. Oh, what's this? What is this? Hello, hello, hello. Friendly neighbours. 
and they have no worms. You know what we do? We're gonna run straight in and deal with them. Let's see what happens. Just walk on through, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the jungle. Who was that sung that song? Welcome to the jungle. Never do a good as good a job as the the original. That's a sick song. Fourteen, wonderful. Let's continue right along. See, it's already recharged. No problems whatsoever. Okie dokie. So this has got a couple of worms. We'll go in. We'll let that deal with it. She, we could probably just do this once. Nope. No dice. Oh man, come on, really? There you go, I fixed it. Oh, that was good. What I'd like actually like to see is with the whole alien artifacts thing is that it increases the more time that goes on so if you have a, a biter sorry a spawner that's there for you know days and weeks and months it just gradually becomes older and older I think that you know newer spawners should spawn slower than older spawners you know giving rise to the older bases the tougher it becomes you know, and as it goes out, new spawners are created, and when they're created, they become basically tougher, which would be really, really good, I think. Okay. All right. Well, that'll do it for this episode. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.